Hello students, in our last lecture we have studied about combustion and flame. So whatever important points were there, we have discussed all about combustion and flame like what do you mean by combustion, what is flame, different kind of flames. So all these things we have discussed, okay. So now it is turn to solve question and answers. So first of all we will be taking, we will be solving the question answers of NCRT, okay. So to begin with, first of all the question exercise is given over here and along with that we will be solving uh, whatever is given over here and at the last we will be also discussing about the keywords, okay. So first of all we will begin with the exercises and the first one is least conditions under which combustion can take place, okay. I will just go to the question once again, least conditions under which combustion can take place. That means here in this question they are asking the conditions which are required for the combustion to take place, okay. That means what are the conditions which are required for a substance to burn, for a substance to undergo combustion, okay. And we have discussed the, the, these point very thoroughly in the chapter and I think, I hope you all as soon as the question comes uh, in front of you, even the answer will automatically come. So what are the points, what are the requirements, what are the basic three needs for the substance to undergo combustion. So first of all, the presence of combustible material itself, okay. So, the things which are required, the conditions which are required for the combustion first of all is the presence of combustible material, okay. Presence of combustible material, okay. So first of all what is required children, the substance which has to burn, okay, the substance which will be undergoing combustion until and unless that substance we have or the substance is present somewhere, how will it like for the process of combustion, the substance is required which will undergo combustion. So first point is presence of combustible material. Now if you have got combustible material, but still for burning, okay, for that substance to catch fire, we need supporter, okay. Now what is the meaning of supporter? Supporter over here, we mean with the oxygen gas. Why oxygen gas? So first of all, I will write here supporter, okay, means presence of oxygen. We all know that for burning of any substance oxygen is very very important, oxygen is required. Without the presence of oxygen any substance cannot undergo combustion or any substance cannot burn until unless oxygen is present, okay. So second is supporter that means presence of oxygen which is very very important. To prove this we also studied about a small experiment that if we take a piece uh, of wood or coal and which is burning and if we cover it with a jar, inverted glass jar, so what you will see, okay. This also we have studied that it will be getting like it will get extinguished after a few uh, minutes or whatever the amount of uh, uh, you know amount of heat which is present inside that uh, burning substance it depends upon that and we also have we have also studied about the candle we discussed about a candle a burning candle okay which burns nicely in the normal conditions but when it is covered by a, a glass you know inverted glass jar of flask so you will see that after uh, after you know few seconds the wick start flickering, the flame start flickering hmm? 
and after few minutes within few minutes only you will find that the that flame get extinguished that means the 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 flame disappears the what will happen the candle will get this uh, extinguished okay so we have proved this we have learned this so second is supporter that means presence of oxygen which is very very important for combustion to take place for a substance to burn okay for a for a fire to continue okay so what is important presence of oxygen is very very important now what is the third one third one is ignition temperature okay now what is the third one ignition temperature now what is the meaning of ignition temperature that minimum temperature which is required for a substance to burn what does it means that means a substance if it has to burn will has to reach to a particular temperature okay that means if a substance like if we have to burn a substance but the minimum temperature hmm, that is required for the substance to catch fire because you know once a substance attain the uh, ignition temperature once the substance reaches to the ignition temperature it starts burning and due to burning the heat will be produced and that heat will be sufficient to continue okay to continue the like ignition to keep the substance at the ignition temperature or to keep the substance burning so these three points are very very important for a substance to undergo combustion that means these three points are very very essential for a substance to burn okay first of all the presence of that combustible material if that material is only not there then what is going to burn now second presence of oxygen that means we all know that if we have to burn something if anything has to burn that means what has to be there there has to be oxygen or this that particular substance cannot burn okay and the third one is ignition temperature ignition temperature is that temperature which is the minimum least temperature okay as we say that out of 100 33 is a passing marks okay until unless a child gets 33 marks that child cannot pass the clear of the subject in the same way until unless a substance reaches to the ignition temperature it cannot catch fire okay so this was our question number one okay this was our question number one and rather this can be the sub points of that okay now we'll move to the question number second Now question second is children fill in the blanks. Okay, the first question was what are the conditions which are required for a substance to undergo combustion. Now second question is fill in the blanks. So just we will go through the fill in the blanks now first one what they are asking is burning of wood and coal causes dash of air okay so they are asking i just repeat it burning of wood and coal causes dash okay so what it does to air okay we all know that because of burning of fossil fuels like wood okay uh, I cannot say wood is a fossil fuel but still the coal or the you know such kind of fuels okay fossil fuels on burning they what they do they pollute the atmosphere okay. So what can be the answer pollution of air so it causes pollution of air it is number A. So what does it cause is pollution of air and this is the only reason why we are very scared you know 
now at this uh, uh, time uh, that if we keep on using fossil fuels in the way what we are using or in the way which we are using it is going to increase the pollution and we have discussed in the chapter that how this pollution give rise to what uh, greenhouse effect due to which the global warming is uh, taking place and due to global warming the polar ice it gets melt and the area which are near the sea will be submerged into the sea okay so what is there due to the burning of the fossil fuel uh, fuels what is happening global warming is caused and pollution is caused of which kind of pollution is caused pollution of air or in simpler you know direct way we can say it causes air pollution okay now come to the second one children a liquid fuel used in homes is dash i'll repeat it a liquid fuel used in homes is dash okay we all know which liquid fuel do we use at home it's what liquid petroleum gas okay we all know the advantages of using liquid petroleum gas we all are very very much aware with the liquid petroleum gas so let me write over here answer number is b children so it is l p g or i can write here okay liquid petroleum gas okay so what they are talking about they are asking us the fuel which we use and that fuel is present in the liquid condition so obviously the name of that fuel, uh, fuel is liquid petroleum gas okay now come to the next one children now come to the c okay what is a c let me have a look fuel must be heated to its dash before it starts burning i'll just repeat children fuel must be heated to its dash before it starts burning just now we have discussed here now what is the like what temperature or to the point where a substance which has to burn or the substance which we want to burn should come to a minimum temperature and that minimum temperature is known as ignition temperature okay so what is there a fuel should be heated to its ignition temperature until and unless a fuel is brought or any substance which is present around us if the substance has to burn that means it has to come to its ignition temperature if it doesn't comes to its ignition temperature that means that substance cannot burn okay so what should i write over here it is c which is ignition temperature okay now come to the d one now what is this d given just we'll have a look fire produced by oil cannot be controlled by dash again i'll just repeat it fire produced by oil cannot be controlled by for children we have discussed this saying that the the uh, the fire which is caused due to electricity or the fire which is caused you know due to the or in the oil if the oil catches fire and if you try to extinguish such kind of fire with the help of water so what happens children why will it don't why it won't i'm so sorry why it won't get extinguished so now this is oil okay and if we spread if we throw okay if we put water okay just take, let let us take this one a beaker okay if you take water over here okay if we have taken water over here and if we add oil you will find the layer of oil it will always come up okay you can do it vice versa that take a beaker add oil first and then you add water then also you will see within few seconds oil will come 
on the top surface. Okay, either way, if you put water in the beaker first and then you add oil, or you put oil in the beaker first and then you add water, in both the cases, water will be down and oil will start floating on the surface of the water. Okay, why? Because these are immiscible liquids. Okay, these liquids do not dissolve in each other, and the density of water is what? more and so it goes down okay and the oil being lighter it just floats on the surface of the water now what happens when in the fire which is there in which fire they are talking about oil in only if oil catches fire and if we try to extinguish this fire with the help of the water and when water is used so what will happen children water will go down Okay, when water is spread or used, okay, or thrown, so what will happen? The water will be settled down and the oil, it will float on the surface of the water and it will continue to burn. It won't extinguish. It won't extinguish because water will be down and the, uh, this oil will float and won't be, uh, the, the fire won't get uh, extinguished. Okay, so... Now, D, what should I write? The fire produced by oil cannot be controlled by water. So, I am writing here water. Okay. So, all these uh, blanks are given which we have discussed now. Okay. Now, we will move to the next question. Explain how the use of CNG in automobile has reduced pollution in our cities okay once again i'll just read the question explain how the use of cng in automobiles has reduced pollution in our cities that means they are talking about they're saying or they're asking how cng or why cng can be replaced uh, i'm so sorry what can be replaced uh, uh, pollution explain how the use of cng that means how if we use cng in our automobiles how it can come down the pollution how it can reduce the pollution okay uh, i am so sorry i was comparing it with some other thing i i wanted to compare it with you know okay if we use cng how it can like how cng can replace other fuels i wanted to say that okay so nothing it was what i was saying was also not wrong that how can we um, replace okay as we have discussed in the chapter also we have taken the example that in agra as a taj mahal is you know the marble is getting yellow so the government has you know uh, made it mandatory to use cng okay and due to the use of cng what is what is happening actually the um, the pollution level is decreased so pollution has replaced what has taken place of what petrol that means this fuel is quite better than the what petrol why because it produces pollution which is quite lower okay as we compare to the pollution which is created due to the uh, use of other fossil fuels so just we'll have the uh, look on the answer of this question so we'll just discuss the answer actually cng is a gas now first of all we should always write the full form of the particular thing what we are writing about so when we are writing about cng first of all we will write that cng which is what compressed natural gas okay now what is happening as cng is known as a cleaner fuel okay as it doesn't leave any kind of residue after burning okay it doesn't leave any kind of ash after burning it the smoke is not released after burning okay so in this way due to cng okay due to cng the pollution has reduced okay the, like unburned hydrocarbon is not left so Th that is the reason why the pollution has decreased due to the use of CNG. So, we will just write the answer over here. So, CNG, what is the use? First of all, it do not okay, emit any kind of
harmful okay or poisonous smoke okay it do not emit any kind of smoke like which kind of harmful or poisonous no like smoke is not released okay now what is the second point it do not leave i don't leave any ash after it burns or after burning whatever you want you can write okay so after burning it don't leave any kind of ash that means residue is not left nothing is left after it gets burned okay now third point it burns completely okay and easily and that is the reason why cng is better fuel in comparison to the other fuels okay there are any other like few more points but these points are not related to the question but if the question comes in this way what are the uses or what are the important point or why cng can be preferred more so then we can write few more points which we have discussed okay so mainly why cng can be the better fuel because it is what it is a uh, you know how it can reduce the pollution because it do not leave any kind of ash which is harmful it do not leave any release any kind of smoke which is rather poisonous so any smoke okay it burns completely and easily so and even you know the greater amount of energy is released okay so it don't emit any it, it don't emit any kind of harmful or poisonous smoke it don't leave any ash after its after it burning after its burning okay it burns completely and easily okay if you write it then it will be it will be burn after it burn okay so this is the again which question it was number just let me write the number this was answer number third okay now we we'll just move to the next answer now next question which is question number 4 now here they have uh, you know asked a comparison a comparison between liquid petroleum gas and wood as a fuel okay what they are talking about they are asking to write a comparison between the what lpg and what and wood now what is the meaning of lpg children first of all lpg means what lpg means liquid petroleum gas okay lpg means liquid petroleum gas which everybody of us has seen we have used okay we use lpg at our home in our kitchens okay what's the full form of lpg it is liquid petroleum gas now actually this liquid petroleum gas is what it is butane so they are asking how butane is more useful than wood so when we talk about wood again the same things are there children that wood it uh, you know after it burns uh, like while burning it emits a lot of uh, smoke hmm lot a lot of smoke is emitted when uh, wood burns while when lpg burns we all see we use gas at home so there is no uh, you know uh, ashes not left smoke is not there it is so uh, you know it is a cleaner uh, you know i can say it is an kind of a idle or cleaner fuel and it is very easy to transport also okay just imagine you have to see we have to store uh, uh, the thing lpg so what do we have, we have to keep a cylinder okay just imagine if you have to burn woods so it will need more amount of uh, you know no more space to store wood 
Then second thing it is not very uh, easy to burn wood ok and it is quite easy to burn, burn LPG. At the same time LPG is so easy to handle just switch it on and just switch off like obviously if it is automatic just nothing you do not have to put the automatic the lighter also just on and off and the gas will be on the LPG will start burning ok and if it the gases are normal gas so you will have to switch on and you have you will have to put the you will have to lit it you will have to just use the lighter but when you talk about wood so much of efforts uh, need to be taken you know uh, like we will have to put kerosene first then we will have to burn then we will have to air it you know because its ignition temperature is high ok wood's ignition temperature is high whereas LPG's ignition temperature is low ok. So, what are the points student first of all LPG is a cleaner fuel while this one wood it releases ash it releases smoke ok. Now, again the calorific value ok that means the heat which is produced on burning of LPG is much more in comparison to the heat which is produced due to the burning of wood. Now, ignition temperature of LPG is low whereas here the L ignition temperature is very high. It is very easy to store to transport LPG ok, but here when, when we talk about wood it is quite difficult to store it quite difficult to uh, tr you know transportation is quite difficult ok. Now, LPG uh, again is you know uh, can be one, one very important thing it does not harm nature if we talk about wood if we burn wood so much of destruction of forest will be there ok. Forest will be destroyed the amount of carbon dioxide which will be released in the atmosphere will be high because trees would not be there to use it. So, again when we burn wood carbon dioxide will be released when we cut trees again there is nothing which can absorb or utilize carbon dioxide again what carbon dioxide will increase. So, what deforestation will, deforestation will also be there amount of carbon dioxide will also be increased in the atmosphere it will give rise to the global warming ok. Then lot of pollution will be there. So, it is not at all you know wise to go for food in comparison to the LPG. So, just will have a uh, will just write the answer I will just write the answer over here. So, the question is compare LPG and wood as fuels when they talk about compare. So, obviously we will be writing in the form of the columns. So, just we will make a column. So, here on one point I need to write LPG ok and here on one side I will write wood. Now, first one For the first one very important point no residue on burning ok no residue on burning, but this side what will happen ash and smoke. are released ok ash and smoke are released. So, there what is happening no residue on burning while this side ash and smoke are released. Now, again second point what will be there easy to store or even transport ok. You can get it from, from the pipelines also, but that you would not get it from the pipelines is it possible to send wood to the pipelines. So, the second one over here difficult to store or transport ok. It is difficult to transport while that side it is very very easy to transport ok. 
Now, what can be the third point, children? It burns easily. Okay, burns very easily. Okay. Now here, what is the third point? Needs lot of efforts. for burning ok now what is the fourth one here low ignition temperature low ignition temperature ok but here the ignition temperature is very high high ignition temperature ok ignition temperature over here is very high ok now this one can be controlled ok that means it is always easy to control ok easy to operate easy to control or operate just with the help of a switch you can do it ok and here it will be difficult to operate or manage difficult to control or manage now last one we can write few more also but as now we are not, uh, we don't have any space left over here. So just last point and I will conclude this. So it do not harm, okay. It do not harm, there is no place to write, it do not harm environment, okay. It do not harm environment but it harms, it pollutes the atmosphere, ok. It pollutes the atmosphere, ok. There is no place children. It pollutes the atmosphere. Again few more points we can add that here. It, again you can, you know, you can uh, make the answer in your own words. You can add many, many points over here. It will give rise to global warming. It it even you know uh, that it causes wood cutting of wood will give rise to deforestation will increase the level of carbon dioxide so now you can change the answer these are the very very basic points which are very like you know very basic which are required to be there in this answer next after to this you can add your points to you know whatever level you can bring it to so no residue on burning ash and smoke are released easy to store or even transport, difficult to store or transport, burns very easily and here in this part needs lot of efforts for burning, low ignition temperature, high ignition temperature, easy to control or operate, difficult to control or manage. Here we can just control it with the help of one switch and it do not have, it do not harm it is ok, it is not visible clearly. It do not harm environment, but it pollutes the environment, it harms the environment. You can frame it in a way whichever you want to, okay. Now, I just will move to the next question children.